welcome to the Effortlessly Abundant Life Podcast, where we will dive into the mindset, spirituality, and practical tools to have more of what you want with less effort. I'm your host, Natalia, a mindset shifter, certified life and success coach, and hypnotherapist who is obsessed with making your life feel good from the inside out. So let's dive in in today's episode in three, two, one. Hello, my beautiful, beautiful listeners. Welcome to another episode of Effortlessly Abundant Life. I'm so happy you're here with me for another episode, another new week. And whoops, we're already in December. Can you imagine, guys? I feel like every year it goes by faster and faster and faster. And especially this year, I feel just this year flew by for me. And it just shows that time is irrelevant because time is so subjective. Sometimes it moves faster or slower and it's irrelevant. So if you have these thoughts of, wait, did I accomplish enough? Do I have enough? Did I made enough this year? Do I have enough? All these questions and reflecting on your year and kind of judging yourself based on external things. I want you to take a pause right now before we diving into this episode, which is going to be so good, guys. And it's going to be some kind of connection in what I'm going to say is remembering that you are more than numbers. You are more than achievements. You are more than what you did or you didn't do. You are more than any of those things. And if you would value your quote-unquote year based on how you feel right now, how do you feel right now? That is the main question. Because... It doesn't matter how you felt six months ago. It doesn't matter how you felt five days ago, right? Because all we have is what? Is right now, this moment in time. Because the past is in the past. The future does not exist yet. But all we have is right now. And if you feel good, it doesn't mean that things are great. It doesn't mean that you accomplish all the things. It doesn't mean you have all the money in the bank. It doesn't mean you have the love of your life yet. It doesn't mean that you are a top singer in the charts yet. It doesn't mean anything right now. The true success, the true abundance that we're talking about, the true effortlessly abundant life that we are bringing here is internal has nothing to do with anything external. It's to create that abundance, that ease, that that joy within you, in your soul. And that is true success to me. And I just want to let you know and remind you how amazing you are. And how you actually achieve more than you can ever think. And if you're listening to this, it just shows me that you are actually on the right path. You're actually doing better than you give yourself credit. And we tend to be so hard on ourselves and put ourselves such high expectations. But I want you to give yourself some grace. Take a step back and just take a second and be grateful for yourself for this moment, for this journey, for how you feel and knowing that you always have this option, this vortex you can always tap into, that feeling good that doesn't connect or relate to anything external, not a person, not a physical thing, nothing materialistic. It's that part of you that it belongs to something so much bigger that connects to light, that connects to all there is. That is the part that really is you. And you cannot measure it. You cannot put a number on it. You cannot give tests to it. You cannot put any goals to it. It's just this everlasting, ever-changing, ever-evolutionizing itself. 
and expanding itself to what is you. So that was a little intro and something that had to come through me apparently because this is the way it goes. But today we're going to talk about the true secret of confidence. And I don't know if many of you know, but I am a professional opera singer. And when I started my journey, I was a music teacher and a vocal teacher. I had my, still have my vocal studio where I teach people and singers how to find their true authentic voice and confidence, right? And this is how I started my journey. And when I found out the power of mindset, the power subconscious, the power of what is in between your ears and your heart and the connection between those two. You, everything is possible. It doesn't matter whatever that is that you want. It could be money, it could be a relationship, it could be freaking opportunities. Anything you want comes from this place, comes from your mindset right? comes from your subconscious mind, actually, more accurately. And when I was teaching voice, and I was really kind of combining the mindset and the voice, ooh, the results were phenomenal, were phenomenal. And that's where I kind of turned into being a mindset coach and subconscious expert, where I do it not only for musicians, not only for singers, but for people who are salespeople or executives or people that just want to really tap into their infinite potential and stop living in a life that is so limited, that based on anxiety, based on judgment. And people that come to me still for my vocal training, they come with this notion and wanting to have confidence. That's the main thing that people come to me with. And singers specifically that come to me, they say to me, well, if I only could hit that high C with full voice, belting, or if you're an opera singer, just be able to go pianissimo on that high C or sing a certain song, that's when I know I'm good enough to go out there and audition for the role that I want or go out there and put my music on YouTube, on Spotify, or just go and audition or sing anywhere. That's how I'm going to know. That's when I'm going to have the confidence. And then how that I have clients from all walks of life. Let's say I have a doctor that wants to have the confidence to put her work out there, to have her research put out there. But she doesn't feel the true confident because she wants to get some kind of approval, a stamp of approval from her boss, from her colleagues, from somebody who has more experience, quote unquote, that tells her, oh, this is good enough. You can put it out there or you can charge more for that, Right. And it all comes back to what? It all comes back to external validation. In order for me to feel confident, in order for me to be confident, I need to achieve a certain thing. I need to have a certain thing. I need to hear a certain thing to be confident. And then I will put myself out there as I truly am. How that guy sounds to you. To me, it doesn't sound right. It really doesn't because it's always conditional. And you're always going to find yourself never good enough, never achieving enough, never, ever, ever good enough, no matter how, no matter what you do, because there's always going to be something better. There's always going to be something that tells you never, this work that you did is just not good enough. And you just end yourself with, all these songs that you wrote in your drawer, all these amazing stories or books that you have and ideas you have in your Google Docs, somewhere that you don't even know where it is. And it's just sad that we are not giving ourselves the permission to be truly who we are. 
And I'll tell you the truth. I don't even believe in confidence. I don't believe this word confidence should be even a thing. And I'll explain to you why. Think about it. Let's look at nature because nature is such a great teaching opportunity for all of us and to learn from. Let's just look at a flower. A beautiful flower, whatever flower you truly love. Whenever you see that flower, you just feel your heart expand. You just right away want to sniff it and, and just look at it and admire how beautiful it is. That kind of flower. Imagine this flower thinking to himself, oh, I wish I had the confidence to spread my leaves and grow tall and open myself up to be this beautiful blossoming flower. I wish if I only had the permission from the bees, from the butterflies, from all these creatures, from the sun, to let me know that I'm good enough to spread my beautiful leaves out there and open myself up and blossom. You see how this is not even a thing. Nature doesn't need courage to be what it is. Everything, it's what it is. A flower is a flower. A tree is a tree. An animal is an animal. A rock is a rock. And none of those objects and beings are giving themselves this permission to be who they are. They just who they are. Therefore, confidence, it's a made man concept when you think about it. The flower, all it needs to do is just surrender. It's just let nature move through it, let water move through it, let oxygen move through it, let nature do what it knows what to do to let those leaves grow and expand and open and blossom and do what it knows what to do. That's it. The tree doesn't need to have confidence to let go of the leaves, thinking, oh my God, if I'm going to let go of all these leaves that I have right now, I'm probably not going to have them anymore. So I need to hold on to those leaves as much as possible and just move through winter with all these leaves, although... This is not the time. This is not the right time. Imagine that. Doesn't need confidence to let go of the leaves. It just does. Because how everything in life and nature, there's cycles. And the tree, just being a tree, trust that cycle, trust nature, is nature. And allowing itself to be a vessel of this magnificent super nature intelligence that just move through it and allow everything to do and be what they need to be and there we come to the human beautiful mind of ours <laughs> that is how we call it a complicated um plant right that all it needs to be watered and show love to but we are complicated, but the beautiful thing that it doesn't have to be complicated. If we only remind ourselves how everything is actually more simpler than we make it. You don't need to have confidence to be who you are. Is that notion and that belief in this society tell us that we need to be a certain look to go out there to pursue a partner or to put yourself out there on social media or to go audition for your favorite role or to put a book out. It doesn't matter what it is, right? Or to sound a certain way in order to be a singer. How many times I heard from singers, my beautiful singers that tell me, oh, but I don't sound like her. How I can how can I sound like Beyonce? How can I sound like Adele? How can I sound like these divas? 
And the answer is you never will. And it's not fair to even compare yourself to them because you are you and you have such a unique imprint of who you are and your voice is a representation of that. And instead of comparing yourself to other singers and trying to compete with something that's just completely, you're always going to lose and it's just not fair, is just tap into that uniqueness and who you truly are and your authentic expression of who you are and just let it be a ve- and be a vessel of that without judging it, without putting a number next to it. That's why I hate, to be honest with you, I hate singers competition. I hate all these like, you know, The Voice and AGT and all these things where, you know, I I actually performed in America's Got Talent. But that, how can you judge a talent? How can you judge a voice? How can you judge a person with something that is just, it's like, again, comparing a flower, a certain flower, a rose with Jasmine, they were both so beautiful and so unique and so amazing on their own. It just doesn't make sense to me. That's why, I, honestly, I don't believe in competition. But that old paradigm of competition, of there is a pyramid, the, there is this low, middle, high class, these, like all these fake ways to divide us and tell us that we need to be in a certain bracket in order to be worthy is just complete BS. Because let's come back to that part of you that is bigger than what do you think you are? Or what do you think you need to be? That place in your heart that is such this vast, magnificent, beautiful, loving, warm, connected, infinite, beautiful energy. That is what you really are. And how can you even define that? How can you even try to compare that? It's incomparable. So when we think about confidence and when you think about you year and when you think about what you want to accomplish next year, instead of putting all these external conditions of, I'm going to do this course in order to be a business person or put this course out or put this book out or podcast out or music out, or I'm, I need something external to make me feel like I'm worthy enough to be what I actually am. (laughs) And I'm not saying you don't need to learn anything. There's no skills to be developed. That is one thing. But I don't want you to be dependent on it. There's a difference when you make a decision to go and be part of a course or program or a teacher or mentor or whatnot. When it comes from a place of, I would love to explore this, this inner, authentic, amazing version of myself and just go with that and unleash that. That's a different version of coming to somebody and tell them, can you please validate me? Can you please tell me that I'm good enough to go out there and do whatever I want to do? When I go to networking events, it's so obvious and I see it so many times that people wear this fake mask, this fake version of themselves that is confident and they're the, you know, the center of the room and they're this and they're that, but it's all fake and you can feel it. You can feel it because energy never lies. And you can feel that. And if only they could be themselves and they didn't need the five drinks to just feel they can be loosened up. And knowing that who they really are, it's truly enough. And the right people were actually going to be gravitates toward you. And they want to do business with you. And they want to learn more from you. And they want to connect with you and to have a deep conversation with you. 
And it's not about being the most popular person in the room. It's about being truly happy and being you. That is true confidence. That is confidence, guys. Confidence is about releasing who you think you need to be and tapping and trusting in room and leaning into who you really are and knowing and trusting that this is enough. That is confidence. Because when you tap into this infinite connection, when you know that you are just an extension of source, extension of God, that is everything. How can you not be confident? When you walk into a room or when you go to that audition or when you go somewhere to say something in front of someone that is quote unquote important or whatever story you made in your mind, tap into that part of you that is infinite, that is perfect because you are. God doesn't make mistakes. The flower is most beautiful, perfect flower, but it's different than the other flower. And you're the same thing, my dear. You are truly perfection. Nothing is off. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is broken in you. So tapping into that and allowing something bigger than you to just move through you just like the flower, just like the tree that just connects to the ground, connects to Mother Earth and just allowing these roots to observe the water and the nourishment and everything they need to blossom. They don't go out there and just try to make everything happen. They just allow everything to happen. Can you allow? Can you trust? Can you step out on your, from your own way and just let that moment be what it is? And sometimes it's going to be messy and sometimes you're not going to say the right thing and you're not going to be the funniest and you're not going to sing the best and you're not going to say the right thing in the right time to make that person close. But it's going to bring you further than anything else because authenticity is so potent it's so oh, it's people just magnetize to it because that's what we need the most right now people want to feel authenticity because that's allowing them to connect to their authentic version of themselves as well and give them permission slip, slip to be themselves. And then oh, everything is so much better. You just feel that, oh, I can breathe again. I can just drop my shoulders. I can relax my jaw. I don't need to like be on guard and be that version, that perfect version that I think I need to be in order to make that money, in order to close that sale, in order to sell that job, in order to sing on Carnegie Hall and all these things. Like, no, all you got to do, my love, is step out, step away from your own way and allow and trust and know that is good enough. Whatever that you have right now, it is good enough. And it's not going to be perfect because there's no such thing perfect, right? It's just ever it's always going to be evolving. It's always going to be expanding. It's always going to be the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And that is so exciting. I don't know about you, but this is more exciting to me than being perfect. I don't know what about you, but every time I go to some kind of show or I go to see um, an exhi exhibit or I go anywhere to just watch something beautiful or hear something beautiful. There is nothing worse to me than seeing this like fake 
<laughs> that perfect quote unquote, right? Like the perfect move, the perfect choreography, the perfect voice, the perfect song. But I didn't feel shit. I didn't feel nothing. It was just like very impressive. But I didn't feel anything. And what's the point? If you're not letting people feel, it doesn't matter whatever that is that you do. It doesn't have to be an artist to make other people feel. You can be a salesperson. You can be just a mom or just a parent, just anybody. It doesn't matter. We're all creators because we all create our life, our experience, right? So coming from that place of, I want to make people feel, but how you do it, but actually feeling yourself, but actually being in your, in your authenticity, in your feelings and opening your heart and open yourself a little bit up. That's where people are gravitating. That's where people want to like, oh, I want more of that because I feel at ease. I can feel I can breathe. I can feel I can be myself. And people trust you and people want to buy from you and people want to hear you and people want to connect to you. These are the artists that you just kind of like so loyal to because you're like, oh my God, they understand me on a such a deep level. And that's the kind of person you want to be. So I hope guys, you are getting a little bit of what confidence truly is. It's so much more than being perfect or doing the right thing or, you know, saying these affirmations. It's a deeper knowing. It's a deeper trust. It's a deeper understanding that it's not about you. It really isn't. It's not about how good you are or any of those things. It's about how can I be a vessel to something so much bigger than myself in this moment. And that's it. That is the only question you need to ask yourself before important presentation, before important meeting, before important audition, before important any of those things you tell yourself are important. How can I be a vessel? How can I be add value, right? And not make it about me. Let people join your journey and not come from that place of watch me. Look how amazing I am. Because that's a trap. That's your ego. Right? During my journey, I'm not perfect. But here it is. And it's perfect. So I hope you guys liked it. Please rate this podcast so more souls, more people like you can hear this message. So rate it, put it on your stories. Of course, tag me at Effortlessly Abundant Life and get yourself a free money hypnosis that is going to help you to attract money, abundance, opportunities, everything you want on repeat easily just by being and so much more. So guys, if you have more ideas, more things you want to listen to, more things you want me to ch touch on, definitely reach out. I love chatting with you on my Instagram, as I said, at effortlessly abundant life. And with that, guys, I love you so, so much. And I'll see you 